So for those who don't believe cancel culture is real, let me show you this. Okay, so I just moved to New York and I'm trying to go grocery shopping. And so I type in like grocery stores on my Apple Maps. And like every fucking one I go to, like I'm walking too, like they're like this shit or like fucking like this. Like, bro, that's not a grocery store. Like I'm trying to get like eggs, yogurt, like cheese, like shit like that, right? Like, look at this place. Hey, yo, Ak, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. The Aki way. <laughs> like, you know those TikToks? Like, I'm, I'm fucking doing it. Like, I've literally been to, like, five of those now. <laughs> and, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do for dinner. Like, where are the Kroger's and, like, the Whole Foods at? Like, I'm about to eat fucking, like, like, cereal and ramen for dinner. Like, what the fuck? Alright, guys. That was the Bodega guy off of Twitter. So, apparently, people were trying to cancel him. Simply for this video, he was pointing out the fact that there were no large grocery store chains so he can buy healthy food because he's, like, a bodybuilder or that's, like, his little, that's his passion or his, his hobby or something like that. And he wanted to stay in shape and be in fitness and eat healthy food. And so he just pointed out the fact that many people of color have actually pointed out multiple times that that in especially urban areas that there's a lack of options when it comes to healthy food choices and uh, but I guess because he's white and he's male and he's probably cis and straight and all those things that it was racist that he pointed out the same thing that people of color have been pointing out for a long time um, and he is spewing his white privilege all over the place uh, you know I think Perez came out and said that he was racist for saying it's the same Perez that bullied Britney Spears probably helped uh, push her to the brink she was when she was breaking windows and shaving her head he relentlessly bullying a, uh, a woman uh, even a teenage teenage girl but now he's super moral and progressive and he's you know pointing out the bad behavior of this white man pointing out the fact that there's a lack of healthy food options in urban communities and black and brown communities again the same complaint that black and brown people have had for a long time you would think the same people that canceled tried to cancel him would actually be more upset about that that there's a lot of people that are denied the options of having healthy food choices or at least whole food choices i mean why would you deny people whole foods because their hot food section is bomb as hell amazing showing my age by saying bomb anyway i'm glad that he hasn't crumbled he's he sort of privated his tiktok for a little bit and then he came back and was like look people are still going to be upset with me so that's fine oh i forgot i forgot he got fired he got fired from his job because of that video that one video he got fired from his job um so yeah if people still think that cancel culture is not a thing well go fuck yourself because it is a thing and this person did not deserve to lose his job for just stating something that again people of color have stated multiple times and people are very slow to fix and resolve that issue but yeah anyway guys tell me what you think of this video below please like comment and subscribe hit that bell to get notifications when i do upload all of our latest help with the algorithm guys and also i have a second travel vlog channel I'm in India now. Look at this beautiful, my beautiful backyard. You've probably seen it before if you are a returning subscriber. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to follow me uh, on my travels, you can go to the description down below and also in the comment section, hit the link, go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel Instagram. My stories as usually with most of the day. I also have a second channel, Speak Freely. Please go and, and hit the link and go subscribe to that. I don't know why I'm being so extra right now. I just, I guess I'm in a good mood. <laughs> anyway, guys, you have an amazing day. I don't have any goats for you guys today, but there's some cows in the distance. <laughs> there you go. A little bit of happiness for you. All right, you guys breathe. <laughs> Say I love you to your loved ones.